the Libre 2 and the Libre 3 are being discontinued and replaced by the Libre 2 Plus and the Libre 3 Plus. And look at this new fancy packaging. I really like the branding. It's super modern. Um, I'm all for it. What are the differences now with these new Plus models? First of all, these new sensors give individuals one more day. So from 14 days to 15 days, which can be a little bit confusing. I know some patients that are really used to changing them, let's say on the same day every two weeks, like every other Sunday. Anyway, but you do get one extra day, so that's a benefit. The second thing is it has expanded coverage now, so it's gone down to two years and older. Lastly, it's sort of built to be able to connect with some of our more automated insulin delivery systems, which can be super useful for many individuals with diabetes who also use these other types of devices. Everything else is pretty much the same. The glucose readings are sent every minute. They are waterproof. They send alerts and alarms. The Bluetooth range is the same. So for the Freestyle Libre 2 Plus, it's 20 feet. And the Freestyle Libre 3 Plus, it's 33 feet. And the apps themselves, you can continue to use those for these newer versions. But the Freestyle Libre 2 and 3 will eventually be discontinued in September 2025. So if you haven't already got the Plus versions, you will need a new prescription for them. But you do have some time if you still have your Libres 2 and 3 left over in order to use those before you switch over to the Plus versions. Let me know your experience. How does the 15 days work for you versus the 14 days? Are you just happy that you have an extra day now? Let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye, pharmacist. Thank <laughs> you.